Hi there folks, welcome to Dunsey's Guitar World. Today's video is a results video from my recent test of two Telecasters. Telecaster A and Telecaster B. It was a shootout where I didn't show you which guitar was playing which part. Now first of all, a massive, massive thank you to everyone who commented on that video. I really appreciate everybody taking the time to do that. It's made this reply a little bit easier and a little bit more interesting, I think. So first of all, which guitar was which? So guitar A, in all the tests that I did in that video, was this 2019 Fender Custom Shop Master Built Dale Wilson Telecaster. So that was guitar A. So that means that guitar B was this 2009 Vintage V2 Telecaster. So, so as I said in the original video, I bought both of these guitars second hand. Well, I didn't actually buy the Fender. I traded nine guitars for that Fender Custom Shop Telecaster. You know, it's, it's an expensive guitar. Now, I will say, before we go any further, I'm not in any way, shape or form suggesting that anybody needs to go out and buy an expensive guitar. I always say the guitar that is best for anyone should have three things. One, it should fit your budget. Two, it should fit your sound requirements. Does it have all the sounds available from the pickups that you need for the type of music you play? And three, maybe most importantly, I guess, it plays really well for you, not for anyone else, for you. So the guitar that you buy should fit your budget, it should fit your sound requirements, and it should play well for you. That's, the, that's what you should base a guitar purchase on. So this video is not about saying, oh, that Fender guitar cost a fortune, so it's, it's better. Now, what do I think, personally, sound-wise, from these two guitars? Here are my thoughts. I think the Fender is more articulate in, in all the sounds that it has in the bridge position, in the middle position, and in the neck position. I just think these pickups just have more clarity than the pickups that are in the vintage. Now, I do have Wilkinson pickups in other guitars, and this is nothing against Wilkinson pickups, but to my ears, the Fender pickups do sound better than the pickups that are in the vintage. However, I will say, and I've read some of the comments, but I will go through them in a minute, someone did point out, maybe my friend Mark, he said that he thought the, the Fender, or sort of what he thought was guitar A, and he was right, um, that was kind of ice picky, a bit too trebly on one of the settings, one of the overdrive settings. And I do agree with that. There is one of the tests that I did where I actually thought the bridge pickup on the vintage just seemed better because it wasn't as piercing. Now, I could have EQ'd both guitars to sound the same, but I didn't really see the point of doing that. You know, people people would say, well, you could have EQ'd this, you could have EQ'd that. These were just two guitars as I got them plugged in with the same settings on both guitars, were both turned up full volume and tone. I didn't EQ anything at all, I just wanted to let you hear, if you bought one of these guitars and plugged it in, here's what it would sound like. So that is what I thought. I thought the Fender, I don't know, it just seemed a bit clearer. However, on one of the settings, it was a bit more overdriven. I thought it was maybe, I don't know if too clear is the, is the word, but it was more sort of piercing. I think I would have had to dial back the tone on that particular setting. So on that one, I thought the vintage did sound a bit better. But what I was surprised about with the vintage was, as I said, I do have Wilkinson pickups on other guitars and I have no issues with them at all, was the neck pickup on the vintage. I thought there was something wrong with it, but I've, I've measured, the, measured the output, I've checked all the wiring and everything like that. It is so muddy, it's unbelievable. I, I don't know why that is. It just seems to be that pickup. I've actually bought a um, replacement neck pickup for that guitar simply from the point of view. It doesn't sound good at all to my ears. It's just way too muddy. But again, as I said in my original video, different people like different things. There are people who liked the fact the guitar B, the vintage guitar, was not as trebly as guitar A, the Fender guitar. So to their ears, they maybe didn't think the bridge, sorry, the neck pickup was too muddy at all, they maybe thought, that's the kind of sound I need. I would I would get one of these vintage guitars. Now I would say as well, this is the fourth, fifth vintage I've owned, which I've bought 
bought all of them second hand. I've had no issues with any of them at all. They are great guitars. So, you know, I'm not for a second suggesting that you should rush out and buy a Fender Custom Shop guitar. Unless, unless that is your budget. But everybody's budgets are different and that goes for everything. You know, there's a guy up the road for me. He spent a fortune on his car. I don't own a car. So his car budget is clearly way more than mine. So that's just how it is. You should, you know, buy something that fits your budget. So anyway, that's my thoughts on it. Sound-wise, playing-wise, I can tell you without a shadow of a doubt, the Fender guitar does play better. But I will say, if you were spending £6,000, because that is how much that guitar would have cost, I did trade for it. I, didn't, I don't have £6,000 to pay to buy a car or a guitar. So if I had dropped that kind of money on a guitar and it didn't play better than one that's a fortieth of the price, I would be a bit disappointed. But it does. The, the Fender does play better. Now, does it play better because it's expensive? I don't know. It just plays better because because it just plays better. I mean, I mean that's it. So, let's read the comments and I'll respond to them. And I'm not being rude to anyone here. I'm just simply reading people's comments and I'll tell you, you know, what I think. If I agree and if I don't agree, then that's a brilliant thing. Two people can hold diametrically opposite opinions, yet still both be correct. So let's have, let's have a look at the uh, the comments. I'll read them live, kind of. If I stutter a bit, then I'll, I'll maybe go back and edit this out. So video comments. So these are just in the order I think they were left on. I'll start at the bottom. Start at the first one. So Alan says, I prefer guitar A, but not by 40 times. I 100% agree with that. I said in my, in my original video, if you're buying a guitar, or if you're buying anything that is 40 times more than an equivalent thing, you know, like be it a guitar or a watch or something like that, you know, it's probably not going to be 40 times better. If it's guitars, they both just play music. If they're watches, they both just tell the time. So I quite agree. Paul says, A was brighter, B a little dull in the neck position. Yeah, I agree with that. But not in any way a bad sound. Nothing an EQ can't improve. 100% correct there as well. You know, I could have EQ'd the neck pickup on the vintage to sound a bit better. But as I said earlier on, I just played these exactly as they, as they came out of the, the delivery boxes. I didn't change any of the EQs. I wanted to be a strict, here's what these two guitars sound like without changing anything. And I think that worked to the advantage and the disadvantage of both guitars, I think the Fender on one of the settings could have been doing with tone down a bit, because it was a bit harsh, and I think the Vintage could have been doing with a bit more treble, more top end on the neck pickup. So I, th I think it worked equally well or badly for both guitars. I have a few Vintage guitars myself and they are solid and a good platform to build from. Totally agree with that as well. Great guitars. Um, next, Gringo Pig. A was the Fender. That was correct. Roy says, prefer guitar B on clean. It sounded fuller. Well, there you go. See, to Roy, the vintage just had a better sound. You know, somebody's listening to, to two guitars. You don't know what they are. One of them sounds better than the other. It doesn't matter what it is. So to Roy, guitar B, the vintage guitar sounded better. Now, my friend in Australia here, Mr Thunderbird, A all the way, B to my amateur ears, you do yourself an injustice here, my friend. Didn't have enough high-end for me. Again, I agree, I think the Fender does have more high-end. Mr Gordon Forbes, my good friend, Gordon Forbes. Easily guitar A. I kept wanting to prefer guitar B once, but A every time. So Gordon preferred guitar A. Gordon loves his scorpions as well. Do you know that? Captain Chaos. I like B for nearly all of the examples. So he's... They are saying that they prefer the, the vintage. I'm not a gear snob, don't care what's on the headstock. Yeah, I, I agree with that. This wasn't a video of me saying you should own an expensive guitar or your guitar should have Fender on the headstock. I mean, here's a here's a 10 second or 20 second clip of me playing this guitar, which is uh, no name on the headstock at all. I don't even know what, what guitar this is. It's a bolt-on copy of a, of a Gibson Marauder. So here's a clip of me playing this at a gig with Twisty and there with my band playing this no-name guitar with an £11 pickup which I bought off Amazon at a gig. <laughs> Thank you. 
So I agree, it doesn't matter what name's on the headstock, even if there's no name. A good guitar is a good guitar, no matter what it says. Um, it's all about this so how you make it sound, absolutely. You know, it's budget, sound, playability. It's it's all personal, you know, I, I completely agree. Uh, Will says, a good test for me, it was more refined and balanced, especially on the clean. I do agree, I think, th I don't know, the Defender, I think these are twisted telly pickups, not 100% sure. Um, th they are great. Clean sounds are fantastic. Drive B became a bit murky. Sorry, on Drive, Guitar B became a bit murky. But hey, you want that sometimes, absolutely. There were people who preferred Guitar B, the vintage, just because they like that sound. That that suits the sort of music they're playing. There'd be no reason to buy a Fender, never mind a custom shop Fender, there'd be no reason to buy a Fender if you like a bassier sound and the vintage V2 gives you that sound, so completely. If I had to choose, I would say A was a Fender but hearing you play in a club, I wouldn't be able to tell. That is absolutely true. And I, I said on my original video, if somebody made a similar video, I don't know if I would be able to tell which was which. I would be able to tell which one I preferred, but maybe, maybe not which guitar was which. So Mr. David May, what a fantastic guitar player, a tutor David May is. In Scotland as well. We like to play and like both guitars, happy with either. That's it. If pushed by a steamroll, I would say I slightly prefer guitar A. And that's it. Sal Morris guitar. Moxis. Guitar A gets my ears most times. Um, user something. To be honest, I prefer guitar B. Smiley face. Somebody's happy. They prefer guitar B and they're happy. Quite right. Absolutely quite right. Mr. Derek Clacton. A legend. Derek and I are going to be doing a, a comedy duo during the Edinburgh Festival. You know, it's like it was just so funny together. A is the one I would pick from the test. Teletones seem to depend much upon how well the neck pickup works on its own and how well it performs with the bridge. Yes, I agree with that. I think because the, in my opinion, the neck pickup on the vintage, I think it's very, very muddy. Um, I do think when you, when you mix the two pickups together, to me, the Fender just sounds better. And I think that has a lot to do with the fact that the neck pickup on the Fender, to me, um, just sounds better. I completely agree with that. Neck pickup on B sounds muffled. Tweaking of the tone controls would fix that. Exactly. Um, Alan Molson preferred A's. Bridge pickup B was more nasal. Might make B better in the mix. Again, that's it. You have to consider the mix of the band you're playing with, the, the, the music you're playing, everything like that. Uh, middle position was closer with A's, having more bite. A's neck pickup is louder, more definition than, than B's. But I've been half corn beef since I <laughs> did a lot of recently. So what do I know? Yeah, I think you had to cancel a gig recently as well. I hope you're feeling better now when this video comes out. Andy Barnes, overall I prefer guitar A. Seem richer and crisper across the board. Mind the, the differences of a wafer thin, a wafer thin mint. I take either of them home and be very happy. I mean, that's it. These are both good guitars. Just different price points. Different people will be buying these guitars. I mean, apart from me, because because uh, I bought both of them. And there's a reason behind why I got the um, the Fender Custom Show one. I, I said about five minutes ago, um, six thousand pound is well above a cash budget for a anything I would ever buy apart from my house. I have never bought anything in that price apart from my house. Even the most expensive motor vehicle I have ever owned was one thousand. £475. That's the most expensive motor vehicle I've ever owned. So that, that's the kind of budget I normally have. I ended up with that because I traded loads of guitars for it. John Pulaski, a Michigan legend, Mr. Pulaski. I actually sent him a, uh, we're friends, I sent him a message on Facebook the other day to say he, he completely nailed this. I'm writing this, I've not seen the reveal, however, I'm going to predict that the vintage is guitar B, not because of any noticeable sound difference, because you where you're playing indicates it's more difficult to play. And uh, he spotted that. He's um, he's heard me play a lot. And as I said earlier in the video, the Fender guitar plays a lot better than the vintage guitar. The vintage guitar could do with a really good setup. I think it would probably play a little bit better. But the, at this point in time, the Fender guitar is so much easier to play. So um, Mr. Pulaski wins the award for spotting. Not even 
not even in a blind test of hearing what it was, the sound, he just saw it. It sounds like he's really struggling to play that. Admittedly, I do struggle to play a lot of stuff on videos. Clive, Clive, like both, but I'm guessing B is a custom shop. There you go, it's got more laid back sounds. I've only been playing for 55 years, never get these bloody comparisons, right? I'm the same. You know, if somebody did one of these videos next week, I'd be sitting here going, I don't know which guitar switch, but I would know which one I prefer. Clive prefers guitar B. Um, my vote is for the custom shop. Again, you know, horses for courses. Lee says A for me. And team of punks. I'm not sure if I'm getting all these right, the names, but I'm just going by what's been left in my, my comments. Like B better, don't go for crispy clear. I like a little bit of dirt on my telly. Exactly. So there is somebody who just prefers a bassier sound than Telecasters. Now, any Telecaster, Telecaster can be very bitey. So if there's somebody who doesn't like the bitiness of a telly, so absolutely, totally agree. David, I'm on my third bottle of old jock and a little impaired. Split decision after writing down A's and B's at a push A. Best comparison I've seen. Thank you, thank you very much. I'm very glad you're not Rob Chaman. I mean, I am as well. I, I suspect he's got more money than me. He's probably bought a motor vehicle that was more than, you know, 1,400 odd pounds. Too, too much going on in the world to discover you're the same person. Absolutely. South Ham's fair B. Johnny Rockstar, a legend from West Lothian. I, I, I can say that. I can say that assuredly. Because he's my cousin. If A wasn't the custom shop telly, you were robbed. There you go. B sounded really murky and not as clear as A. Let me know if you want to try American telly custom shop pickups. Oh, that's right. He's, uh, I meant to get back to him with this. Mexican telly with custom shop pickups. We should do that. I'll get in touch in the real world with him. And uh, we should do that. Douglas Christie, how are you doing? I hadn't seen you for ages, but I don't think you're getting notifications. Did I hear you say you have a Kemper? Yes, yes, I do. I've had it for about a year now. I think, um, coming up in the world, well, I don't know, I traded two guitars for it. Um, and I think my mate who traded this to me, I think he got a better deal. Um, but I wanted a Kemper just simply because I need it for doing videos. I, I would never use this live. I um, need the Kemper for doing videos. I need lots of different sounds. So coming up in the world, uh, not really. I just traded some stuff. I didn't. I didn't purchase it new. I think they're about two thousand pounds new. I see Squire on the headstock of the very first guitar in your rack. Uh, this isn't really about the Telecaster video, but I'm always happy to answer questions. Um, what Squire was it? I think it could be, could be the Squire Jag Master. Um, I think I've got three three Squires at the moment. I really like Squire guitars, and here's the thing: like Squire Japan, in my humble opinion, are are the better ones. But when it comes to Indonesia and China, I um, I much prefer the Indonesian Squire guitars. I, I don't know; they just they just seem to feel a bit a bit better for me. So that is what the the Squire, so you got a Squire Classic Vibe Telecaster, a Thin Line, brilliant, brilliant guitars. I really like the, the those um, Squire Natural, it's Classic Vibe, Natural Vibe, Squire Classic Vibe. Tell me more about the Kemper. The Kemper is the best bit of musical equipment I have bought in a long time, simply because of what I use it for, for doing videos. And uh, he says, Guitar B has more bass in the neck, absolutely 100%. David Coleman, I thought A was a much better sounding on test one. The gap was much closer than the other test. A was slightly better. I bought a second hand telly, uh, player telecaster last year. I got player telecasters are brown as well. Um, Loz took one of those in to trade in guitar guitar last week. But, and I thought it was great. I actually said to him, I said, the one that you're trading in is, is better than the one you're, you're trying to trade in against. And I think he ended up agreeing and we all called the whole thing off. So yes, Paul McCusker, Scottish legend, Mr. Paul McCusker. My lugs prefer guitar A. I'm a vote for Fender. It wasn't a vote, it was just a, what is your preference? And Ian Ryan, the tone of guitar A seems to me to be brighter and clearer with a little more definition. I prefer guitar A. 
Again, yes, I, I agree with that. I think if what you're after in the sound of a Telecaster is clarity and definition, then, then that Fender guitar, to me and to some of the people who are commenting here, it does seem to be brighter, clearer and have more definition. But not everybody's looking for, for that sort of sound. So there you go. So that's all the comments. I'll close my laptop here. This is editing Dunsey from the future. When I was editing the video, I thought, I'm sure there was more comments. And I went back and found them. So I'm going to throw them in here just to show that I'm trying to answer everything. So Vincent Brennan, A vintage, B Fender preferred A. Um, which, who else did I didn't see? Captain Chaos. I think I read that one out. Tony Scranage. That was a person. I, I saw Vincent's comment and I saw Tori's comment and I thought, I didn't read them out. But then when I've gone back in, I can now see them. So was Tony saying, A was a little brighter than B. B was a bit muddy at times. Both sounded good no. Uh, good though. Rubber Dub Dub 6543. I don't think I've read this one out, but if I have, then I'll, I'll edit this bit out or I will leave it in. So the pickups on guitar B are a bit of balance because the neck pickup is so dull. The treble and the bridge pickup tends to dominate in the middle position. No way I can justify spending several thousand on a custom shop guitar. I mean, that's it. Everybody has a budget for a guitar. You know, some people, you know, I saw a guitar the other day that was like £20,000. And I thought, who on earth would spend £20,000 on a guitar? But there'll be people who've got £20,000 to, to drop on a guitar. It's not this people, I can assure you that. Um, I can get a vintage V75 with American order body maple neck for just over 200 and put any pickups in. I want for a couple hundred more and still have something that costs less than a Fender Player Series Deli. But it sounds like a custom shop guitar. I mean, that's it. If you if you buy one of these vintage guitars or anything, you know, a Harley Benton or anything like that, change, change the pickups to pickups which you think have got a better sound. And if you like the way the guitar plays, then, I mean, that's you. You end up with a guitar which fits your budget fits your sound because you've changed the pickups to, to a preferable sound to you and it plays, it plays to the way you want it to play. So you know really just, I just I agree with that, I agree with that you know. So I think, I think of, uh, I think of every, every comment. So this is four o'clock on Sunday afternoon so if you've commented up till four o'clock on Sunday afternoon on my original video, I think I have got all of the comments. If I haven't, please do accept my apologies now back to the video that's all the comments on that, that video so thank you thank you once again for taking the time to comment on it it was interesting to see what what people are saying and I, I really thought it would be like a mixture of people because I, I can hear the difference in that one is brighter than the other what, what one has less brightness than the other so I can hear I could hear that much and I thought there'll be people who simply because of the tones they like will prefer the guitar which is not as bright in this case that was the vintage V2 Telecaster no but other people because of the music they listen to the music they play they will prefer a guitar a Telecaster which is brighter which in that particular video was uh, the Fender master built Telecaster so you'll be doing full videos on both these guitars I'll be taking them to bits I'll be very careful with the Fender one I'll be taking them to bits and looking at the construction and, and the pickups, and as I said, I have actually purchased a new neck pickup. I actually bought a set of pickups just from Amazon, just I think maybe about 35 40 pounds. I can't even remember what, what pickups they were, not a particularly big brand. I have bought new pickups for the vintage because the one thing I do want to change is to change the neck pickup and see if that makes any difference. If I like the sounds after that, I'll maybe not even bother changing the bridge pickup out because the bridge pickup's fine just the neck is very murky so that'll be at some point in the future there'll be a video on the vintage telecaster and a video on the fender custom shop telecaster as ever folks it's a privilege and a pleasure to bring you content on dunsey's guitar world cheers for now